How's it going everybody? In this video, I want to talk to you about how to start your own business if you're a military spouse. First off, if you're a military spouse trying to start your own business, I think that is awesome. Um, we need more business owners and we need more business. All of those small military towns, whichever one you're in, uh, they all need business as well. And so that's great that you want to do this and generate some extra income. I am a four-year Army veteran. I was stationed in Fort Bragg, where I lived in North Carolina for four years. It was a great experience. I learned a lot. Uh, I missed my friends, but I decided to move on and pursue other goals and aspirations as well. So, um, I, hopefully the wind isn't picking up, but I am in Houston here. Sorry for this way. It is extremely hot in the mid-July heat summer. But uh, anyway, so I'm going to break this video into two parts. The first part is two simple questions to ask you. And then the second part will be a couple of really good ideas that I have that I'd like to share with you. And also some very good uh, uh, ideas that I saw others do. Not ideas, but actual businesses that I saw some very successful spouse-owned businesses. Uh, so with that being said, let me ask you, what do you want to do? What does your business uh, revolve around? Uh, can you do it alone? Will you need help? So that's the first thing that you should really ask yourself is what business do you want to do? What do you want to pursue? The second thing you have to ask yourself is can you fund it? Will you need funding? Will you need to finance it? And this greatly limits as well uh, uh, whether you'll be able to fund it yourself or not. This takes a lot of things out of the equation, which is good. You want to narrow it down to a nice happy, successful business that you can run and start on your own. Okay, so you decide to start your own business. Now, I'm going to share with you four really good business ideas that are service-based. They're service-based and product-based. Product-based, unless you can make it on demand, I wouldn't go for it because if you have to have any kind of inventory, that normally comes with a high startup cost, and that's always what you want to uh, avoid. Remember, the best thing for an entrepreneur is if you don't need something, don't get it. If you don't need to buy some program software or, or maybe hardware or whatever you need to start your own business, don't get it. Now the four different business ideas that I have and that I think any spouse could really capitalize on because there's so much volume and so much inventory is, well, let me ask you in a question. What is around you? that so many people need all the time, like they actually need it for work. The answer can be found in four different places. And uh, if I were to drive right outside of the gate of the base, and they are barbershops, sewing, boot shiners, and um, dry cleaners. Those four things can be capitalized on so hard because a lot of those people that own those businesses right side of the gate, they don't do any marketing. They don't do any um, any sales. They don't do any... any uh, discounts, they don't do any coupons, any advertising, they certainly don't know Facebook ad ads or anything like that. And it's just something, it is what it is, and it's something that you can extremely capitalize on and, and take more business. Okay, I'm going to stand in the shade for a second. Um, but yeah, you can really capitalize on this. Say if you just started giving haircuts for maybe $10 a haircut. Now, it's got to be good, but Imagine if you also provided another service that they most definitely need, which is maybe dry cleaning. Well, say you said to the customer, I'll give you both of these services for 15% off if you do both of my services. These are marketing tactics that you would have to learn, and you can easily learn them. There's uh, bulk discounts like, hey, if you get a haircut with me and I dry clean your clothes and I sew on whatever you need, um, I'll give you 15% discount. If you count, that's a, a bulk tack, uh, uh, that's a bulk discount tactic. You could try a, uh, a referral tactic. Uh, if you come to me through somebody else who I've given business to, I'll give you 15% off. Uh, that's that's also a really good one as well. If you've ever gotten like a business card and they have 10 stamp marks and and on your 10th one you'll get a free whatever. That's also another good tactic. So these are just marketing tips that you'll have to use and utilize and learn to really capitalize on and get as much business as you can get. If you can provide all those services and pick up routine customers, you congratulations you started a business. So those are so those are four really good business ideas. Again. Cutting hair, shining boots. I don't really see a lot of spouses doing that. That's just me. I, I always hated shining boots. 
um, dry cleaning and uh, sewing. I, I did some dry cleaning in my day. Um, those four things are really so necessary around military bases. And again, I don't know where you are. I don't know if you're in Colleen. I don't know if you're in Fayetteville. Uh, I don't know if you're in Leesville, whatever town is right next to your base. I don't know where you are, but I do know that if you are in any of those towns right next to a military base, I know that there are a lot of guys around you that need all four of those services done routinely. And you can really capitalize on that because there's so much inventory. There's a lot of volume to be dealt with. So those are really good service-based businesses. And when you get so busy, maybe you're working all day Saturday, you could even refer it out and hire an employee. And, you know, you could work out a split. Like maybe she gets 75%, you get 25%, whatever. Um, now you can get that time back to pick up more sales. So that's also another great thing to capitalize on. The one product base that I did see, uh, and I did know, see this for a fact, she made good money doing this, was she made custom uh, bars of soap, handcrafted bars of soap and body washes. Um, see, she used this one tactic. Again, this is another great sales and marketing strategy. That, that were, there were a lot of, she noticed there were a lot of retired people around the city. That re, they retired from the military and the spouse is bored and she just scans Facebook all day and she comes across these things on her page, these, these um, handcrafted bars of soap on her page and they'll just, they, a lot of them just went crazy over them. She used this one very simple trick, and that is buy and sell trade Facebook groups. Whatever city that you're in, buy, sell, trade Fayetteville, buy, sell, trade Fort Bragg, buy, sell, trade Colleen, buy, sell, trade Fort Hood. These are extremely underutilized and underestimated. There are a lot of people, tons of people, bored, scanning those all day, every day, all day long. So that's a really underestimated thing to really capitalize on and, 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 and get a lot of business from that as well. So it's just the more you do, the more you'll find out what works. I could, I, you know, maybe what works here won't work there. But the more that you try, the more likely you are for something to stick. And that goes with everything in general. That went for me when I was selling my coffee, my online coffee store that I recently sold. Yeah, that sells places that I go and ask uh, businesses if they I can put a vending machine in their shop, you know, odds are they'll say no, but if I keep going, eventually, statistically, I am supposed to get a yes, and I do, and that's cool too. So, anyways, guys, that, that's all I got for now. Um, I think it's awesome that if you're a spouse and you want to start a business, I fully believe that you can do it if you put in the proper time and, and effort and research that it takes. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. You know, I don't want to make be another finance channel where it's just me talking to the camera, giving advice in a room. I think we have enough channels like that already. Um, you know, giving advice about things that they've probably never done themselves. But, um, I, you know, I just wanted to give you from my perspective, show you what I saw show you like, hey, oh yeah, I did see a spouse uh, make handcrafted bars of soap and she made an awesome little side business doing so. You know, yeah, hey, I did see this lady start haircutting at, at home and, you know, her husband would go out and refer it to all her buddies and then she, that got her a lot of business. You know, stuff that like that that I factually saw, that's all that this was intended to be. Um, it may be something totally different. It may not apply to everyone. I don't know. Again, I don't know where you are or what your goals are. In fact, you, you could leave me a comment. That would be great. But um, anyways, I really appreciate it. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye.